The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. There was a woman that stopped me here in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York, on Avenue J. And the woman said, Rebbe, can I have a bracha? I said to her, what would you like a bracha for? She said, baby, I got married, got married a little bit older, and my husband and I would very much like to have a baby. I said to her, Bezer Hashem Yisparach, Zara Chaya Vekayoma should have a child, Bezer Hashem Yisparach. I went, happened to be, a few weeks later, I was on Avenue J, walking down the street towards each 12. All of a sudden, the woman sees me. She says, Rebbe, can I have a bracha? I said, Bezer Hashem Yisparach, a child should be in the house. Everything should go gishmerk for you. Everything should go beautifully for you and your husband. And the bracha should come to you. It was about two months later. I'm walking on Avenue J. Once more, the woman came over. I saw already this time. She wasn't as excited as the time before. That little excitement and the smile wasn't there. She said, Rebbe, do you remember me? I said, yes, of course. Could you give me a bracha? I said, Be'ez Hashem Yisparach, you and your husband who I met, you're going to be unbelievable parents. Hashem is looking for such parents. You should have not only one child, but you should have children. She looked at me. She smiled. She gave a big amen. I walked away. I thought of the emuna, the emuna shlema, the emuna tamima of a mama, a future mama, of a woman that believes in Hashem and has emunas chachomim to stop somebody on the street that she thinks might be able to give a bracha, she thinks. Don't think that the emuna shlema of a woman in Klau Yisrael, of a man, of a boy, of a girl, is something small. I received a telephone call later that year. Rebbe, I know you probably don't know my name, but I'm the one, you know, that lady that stops you on Avenue J. I just had twins. You said children. I had twins. I would like you to be the Sandik for the first twin. The second twin is not ready for bris yet but for the first twin. My biggest simch in the world, I never forget that Sandikos. It wasn't too long ago. I never forget the simcha in the base matrish of people. You know, usually they sing a mazel tov and maybe urevanim, but rarely do they start making a rikud around the base matrish. It's a simcha. Advar chizuk sometimes helps a great deal. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend, storiestoinspire.org.